Let me tell you a story. I grew up in a family of endurance athletes. My uncle was one of the best around, my sister was one of the best around. And I was a standout. I wasn't going to be part of that team as much as I really, really wanted to. I was the one who wanted to help, but never felt enough. So I decided to get into fitness to drop my weight. I was very, very overweight and lost about six stone in the process. However, I went into the physique world, even though I wanted to be an athlete so much, an endurance athlete. And I still remember to this day when I told my uncle that I wanted to do a bodybuilding show. This guy who was an athlete himself, who was passionate about endurance, about running, and his words were, why on earth do you want to do that? Almost like I was taking the piss. I'd done what I wanted. And that was 10 years ago. All that time, building up my knowledge, building up my experience with an ulterior motive. You see, yeah, I've helped people with physique shows, but that's not what I'm here for. My passion is endurance, my passion is triathlon, is cycling, is running. And that ulterior motive was to become one of the best damn performance nutritionists ever. And in the back of my mind it messed with me daily because I just wanted to help my family. I was going to get there if it killed me. I tried for 10 years to get there. And I'm still learning, still learning to this day. But right now, I know that nobody can do the things I do. Nobody has the same knowledge that I do. You can call it arrogance if you want, but that is fact. I'm an individual with the way I do things and I work with bigger teams as well. And here's something that also messed with me. I'm a little brother. My sister was one of the best middle distance runners around here. I believe she won the Cambridge Marathon a few years ago. And no doubt she'll get back to that if she wants to. She's just had a baby, so priorities change. She wouldn't come to me for help. As much as I wanted to give it to her. I love her to bits. And when I was 15, she was 16, our dad died. So... I swore that I was going to always protect her, no matter how far apart we seem. As I said, my uncle is one of the most well-known people in running around this area. He works with a lot of younger athletes, the coaching for him, helping mentor them, and he won't come to me for help. I can't help him, and I can't help his athletes, so I've been selfish. I stepped up my game. I love and I thrive off working with endurance athletes. And in trying to help them, I've become one of the best in my field. Because I couldn't help them. So I dive deeper, real deep. And that is something that you can take advantage of. You see, I've helped my knowledge to help professionals worldwide. Used it to help age groupers worldwide. I've worked with guys that have been in the Tour de France, with world champions, with people that have competed in the Olympics. And I'm renowned for my work on performance nutrition with athletes. Then something popped up the other day. The London Marathon 2016. My brother-in-law was in it. And he's one of these guys that he's bloody good at running. Even though, unlike so many runners, he will admit that he runs because he likes to eat. And he likes to have a drink. And that's totally cool. Because so many runners will not admit that. Which is quite scary. Now... He is proud and he didn't want to walk at all. He was on course for a massive PB. Looking to 
finish in the top range of runners. Now, he didn't say that he walked at all. Then he finished two hours, 44 minutes and something. But then a few days later, it came across that there was a picture taken in a tunnel where there was just this guy walking and you could see it was him, bald head, his uh, running team's jersey on there. And it was all over social media on the Virgin Marathon account. And then it came up that they'd asked him to write a little bit of a blog. And he screwed up his nutrition. He got a massive, a majorly good time, but he screwed up his nutrition. And do you think he has access to one of the best nutritionists around? One of the best guys around that can help him? But he wouldn't ask. I could get him under 2 hours 40. That may be big words, but yeah, I could easily do it with a little bit of focus. Don't be that person that is afraid to ask. Don't be that person that is not fulfilling their potential. Don't be that person that is afraid to invest in themselves. Now if you've listened to the end, I thank you. If you're a family member and you've been offended by this, this is just what I've been thinking and me being honest on video. I'm here to help.